Hello, planner friends. It's Amber from Amber Plans Are Day. I'm coming on for three of my patron spreads. And then tomorrow we'll see the other three. But I'm really excited to dive deep into what we have today. We are going to start with Beth. And for her, we're going to do an October currently. So I'm just going to be using a blank sheet of paper. We're going to be working on this side. And for the spread, she wants fall pumpkins and leaves and currently words. So we have A Year of Planning by Whimsy Lux. We have Fall Memories by Amber Plants Her Day. And we have Functional Words by Amber Plants Her Day. So these are the three sticker books that we're gonna use to create this currently page. So we're gonna get started with some of the pumpkins from the Fall Memories. This book has some really, really pretty pumpkins in it. Let's see. There they are. Then we are going to be using the leaves from Whimsy Lux because these leaves are really pretty. They're also like kind of dainty colors like these are, so they match really nicely. So we're going to combine those two and we'll probably use these boxes as well to um, put the currently words in. So to start, I think we're just going to put pumpkins across the whole bottom with some leaves as well. Um, I'm trying to think of like what I want it to look like overall. And then I think we're gonna layer some of the leaves kind of like up on the top. And I think we'll, it's a little bit bigger, so we'll put that one just a little bit more space. We can put something like this right there, like a bit of a smaller leaf. Just kind of put that one. This one's a little bit smaller. That leaf, and then let's do. Um, one more pumpkin down here. It was a little bit smaller too. Cute. Absolutely love this. I love these, like this branch with the acorns as well. I feel like that's, that's really cute. And then there are a couple individual acorns that we can put as well. Okay. So now let's letter currently up at the top and we need to decide what color to use. I think I'm just going to use black. I've got a couple different sizes of my Pentel sign brush pen. So I'm just going to grab the medium one and write October. October. And then we're going to do 20, 22. And then because we have some space, we definitely want to put a pumpkin and probably like a leaf in this space. Some of these leaves are fairly big, so I feel like um, they could take up quite a bit of space. And then let's go for the currently words. So first things first, we're going to go to the currently page, which I think might be more in the back right here. And I'm going to take the one that is a little slightly bigger. I'm going to put that there. Then one, two, three, four, five. I feel like we should just do all five because why not? These colors match really well, like with all of the pumpkins and everything. So I feel like that's really good. One, two, three, four, and 
five and then we'll have plenty of space for more leaves and more pumpkins throughout that um but we are going to go ahead and put the stickers for the currently loving planning dreaming feeling and watching cute okay so now the currently is done and we can definitely add more leaves and some more pumpkins and all of those fun things there try to put something like that let's go with leaf like there maybe another leaf then let's do some pumpkins a couple more do this one and I'm gonna go with this one I think I'm gonna put a quote right here actually because fall memories does have some really fun quotes um see uh, let's find one that's good oh this is in October currently so let's do this one in love with October and it actually is gonna fit so perfectly right there that's so cute and I think I'm gonna do this one too cozy season is here I just feel like this is going to fit really cute as well. I do you want to go back to the pumpkin page though and see if there's any other pumpkins I can add? Where'd they go? Okay. Um, maybe I'll do this one. And I'll kind of put it over here with those ones and then I'm going to put one more actually this acorn over here and I think I'm gonna put this bush like this leaf and acorn right there I love this this is so stinking cute so again this was an October currently that we made for Beth. I think it turned out so fun with the leaves and the um, pumpkins and it turned out so cute. Next, we are going to do a classic vertical um, with a pink and black Halloween theme. This is for Alana, Alana, sorry, jeez. Um, so we're going to use Posh Fall and I really liked what was in here for the pink pumpkins and I feel like we can make them a little bit spooky by adding in the Halloween and Dia de los Muertos uh, sticker book. This was last year's edition. Um, they did not come out with another Halloween sticker book this year, um, but they do have some other ones. So the seasonal fall one did have some really cute ghosts as well, but I felt like this was great to add some pink and then we can add some other really fun Halloween elements as well. So let's dive in. The first thing that I want to do though is cover up Mickey Mouse. And the reason for that is because we're not doing a Mickey Mouse Halloween spread. So we're going to cover it with a pink pumpkin right here. We're actually going to add, I love the page of ghosts in this book. So this is really the only like Halloween thingy that's in here. But they're so cute right there. And then I did want to see. I know that there was some really cute things in here as well. 
I think I could add um, some of this like cotton candy look right there. I think those are so spooky and so cute as well. So we're going to start with a cute little ghost up there. Then let's do something a little similar down here. Cute. And then I feel like I can totally add either like another ghost or like I wonder if there's like any other like smaller haunted houses in here. I know I already used the big, big one. So that's why I want to see if there's anything smaller. Dang it. I don't think that there is anything small in here. That's okay though. We can make it work. I think that instead of a bigger sized haunted house, I'm going to use these really big ghosts. These little ghost friends, they actually match really well with these guys, um, especially with that black background and just all of those things. So I feel like that would be a good combo. And it definitely makes it a pink Halloween. Just need to white out this just a little bit. Cute. Oh my goodness, those are so cute. Then we're going to come in with one more bigger sized floral and do something somewhat similar up on this side of the page. Definitely going to be adding some more pink pumpkins though. So that will be coming up too. I'm going to do some of these spooky treats as well. Definitely given adding a little bit more of that like pink color. Cute. Definitely need some boxes and things like that. First, I'm going to add a couple more of the pumpkins. Here and maybe one more right here, and then we'll definitely add some Halloween quotes. I'll probably use what is in Fall Memories just because there is some really good um, quotes in there. I kind of want to do a little stack of the pumpkins on this side too. Okay, I feel like that is probably enough pink and enough um, decorative elements of that. We definitely need more ghosts and more things like that and then definitely some functional aspects to give um, the, you know, a functional element to the spread and then of course quotes so back into fall memories let's add right here um trick-or-treat bags of sweets ghosts are walking down the streets and i feel like that's perfect because i have a lot of ghosts in this spread we're gonna add a boo sticker because I think that's really cute. Now we definitely want to add um, some boxes. So let's we're gonna put spooky season right there. And then I want to go should I just do black boxes? I feel like that's probably like the simplest um, idea. Because the purple and the orange don't match necessarily because we're, you know, in to um you know pink Halloween. So we're gonna actually take that off. We're going to put this here. We're actually going to use the white out again to white out 
part of this box just to have that like really seen through there. I think we're gonna put that one there and then we definitely are going to add some of the other smaller ones around as well. Okay. Let's add at least a few checklists to give some more function. Um, yeah, I think this is good. And maybe just one more. And then the other thing that I definitely want to add is a little bit more of the Halloween candy donuts. Probably add some more spiders as well. I love the little spiders that are like on this page just throughout. I feel like they're so spooky and little and just cute, but fun at the same time. I can add a lot of smaller elements to the page here. Let's see here. And then we're gonna add some of the candy corn as well, just because I think it's so stinking cute. And it has the pink, it has all of the elements that we want to see in the spread. So let's go ahead and grab more of those guys got one more so we'll probably just use that one okay cute oh my goodness I think that this spread turned out so stinking cute it's actually really fun definitely a lot of the pink element and then the ghosts to tie in like the Halloween um, theme and just like all of the funness there. So I think that the spread turned out so, so fun. Last but not least, we are going to be doing a giveaway spread for um, Shakira. She wants to give her spread away just in honor of friends and family and just this season and all of the things. So we are going to be using Fall Roses sticker book from Amber, or no, not sticker book, geez, Fall Roses sticker sheet from Amber Plants Her Day. They are available on my website. Um, and then we also have Autumn Boxes 2.0 from Mojo Jojo Plans to add some function to the spread as well. And we are going to start with this corner sticker the only thing that you need to do to win this spread is comment down below and all like all of the comments will be just randomly drawn and somebody will win um i try to leave the spread like the spread open for at least a few days so you have time to really um you know, try to comment and see the video in case you don't watch it on the day that it released or anything like that. You still have plenty of opportunity to see that video and um, enter if you want to. So yeah, if you guys want to win a beautiful fall roses spread, just comment below. That's basically it. Watch the video, comment below, and um, let me know what you love about it. Which one was your favorite spread of the day? They're all so pretty. I love the fall roses though. There's something about um, like they, like this really pretty color scheme and stuff like that. That just brings me joy. So technically if this was used for November, which it totally could be because um, that's like what we would be leaning towards if I sent this out. Um, I want to see November. 
November starts on a Tuesday, the 24th, which is third, fourth, fifth. Okay, the 24th would be this one. That'd be Thanksgiving. I just like to try to have an idea of what's going on when so I can um, add a little bit of function here. I love these purple and green boxes from the Autumn Boxes 2.0 sticker book from Mojo Dojo Plans. I just feel like they're so pretty. Um, okay, so this add, you know, your Thanksgiving plans. Let's, you know what we have to add? The first Friday of the month, the Amber Plans are day release day because uh, holla. And then sometimes I'll just throw around some random boxes just to give people the ability to, you know, have stuff if they need it and not if they don't. Put a bigger one here. Let's put one here. Let's put a long box um, over here. And put this one up here in this corner. Scissors are right here. Had a little bit come off the side of that. And then um, let's add, we'll definitely add a few more boxes and maybe some dots even. I think she started adding dots. Yes, there's dots, look at them. Those will be perfect to add to the spread as well. Just around randomly because I just feel like it will tie, like just help tie in some more of that color, some more of the function, whatever is needed. this one here and then I do want to add some quotes some more quotes as well um just because I feel like they do add in a lot and like nice touches to um a spread so I want to grab let's see I kind of wanted holiday quotes and boxes but I don't know where it is because apparently nothing can stay on my desk for more than five minutes. But we can use fall memories because there is a bunch of quotes in here as well that really would match the, um, you know, the sticker book or like the spread. I mean, so let's do let our hearts, let our heart be full of both thanks and giving. And then grateful thankful blessed we're gonna put over here we will put um let's see let's keep looking just here for the pie i kind of have to use that one no offense but i do love me some pie tis the season to be basic which is true. Oh, here we go. This one is perfect. It's actually perfect for right here. It says, give thanks with a grateful heart. And that was so perfect because these two days are not November. So there's still room to write something there if you wanted to, but that's, that fits great. And I feel like that's probably enough quotes. Um, yeah. I feel like this is probably good for, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do this, count my blessings from the fall bucket list page. I just feel like that adds a lot to that area there. And then we are going to go ahead and add a few more of these um, floral stickers. I want this to add to this. Oh, that's okay, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Just add and like kind of frame that page or that um, box there. And what else can we do? I feel like it's so good. I feel like it's so good. I think I think it's done. 
maybe that maybe a couple more boxes just because I feel like we do need some more of that purple and that green color this these colors are just so beautiful like you just can't go wrong so I'm gonna add that one that technically would be Black Friday so I guess if you have plans to go Black Friday shopping then that can be for that and then I think go here with a little layer right there oh I definitely love that much better I feel like it just kind of completed the spread I absolutely love this it is so stunning okay so it, remember this is for giveaway um Shakira wants to give away her spread just to honor friends and family and um if you guys want to win this just comment down below and I will randomly pick a comment in the next five days so if you're seeing this like one week later then it's probably done but if you're watching this in the first few days then definitely comment below if you want to win this and we will choose a winner so we have spreads for so we have a Shakira spread for the giveaway we had the pink Halloween and we had the October currently so many fun spreads here that are done and i really want to know which one is your favorite so if you loved the october monthly that we made for beth with the fall pumpkins and the fall leaves comment um beth's spread if you guys really liked alana spread then comment you know pink halloween this one is so cute i love the ghost it just ties it all together and then if you guys want to win shakira's um giveaway spread definitely comment that below as well but i really am curious which one's your favorite they're all so good and i will see you tomorrow with the rest of the spreads